hello hello everyone welcome back to the channel miss coffee here and today we're back with a whip and chat whip stands for work in progress so get out whatever that is for you work along with me as i tell you some stories and announcements from the coffee house shenanigans now i hope you're all doing well drinking your water taking your meds and your vitamins and so let's get right into it we're going to start with the announcements so first thing the announcement of what am I working on today? So today I'm working on my DAC calendar. Every month at the end of the month, I work on one page of the calendar that's coming up for the next following month. So this month is the month of June. And so it's a beautiful little sunflower. So we're gonna be working on this today. I have seven colors coming in with this kit. And then we have our Firefly tray, our Enablers Outpost pen. And then as I love using my Star Ore wax. It's purple. Yes, Star Ore has some of the best wax and I love their wax so I will be using that. Um, now, the second announcement, this pen. This pen is super special because this pen comes with a kit, or I should say the kit comes with a pen. <laughs> so this past weekend, I just had another canvas release with Enablers Outpost, and I am super duper proud of this canvas. And so when this canvas was being created, I specifically asked if there was a way to have a pin to match the canvas. I know a lot of you folks, I watch you guys posting stuff in my group, Crafters Anonymous over on Facebook and even in my Discord if you join us on Twitch. And a lot of you like having pins that match your canvases. So I specifically asked if there was a way to have a pin that matched the canvas. And Elizabeth and Edward took on the challenge of getting everything set up and they did an amazing job. They went through some hiccups and all the things that you could possibly think of to get this to work. And it finally did. And I've never been so proud. They do amazing work, you guys. And they deserve all the flowers. So um, I'm super excited because this pen comes with a canvas that was, like I said, it, it was just released this weekend. I haven't posted on social media because it sold out before I got a chance to. So the folks over on Twitch usually get first dibs because typically I'm usually live with them when these things happen. Um, but don't worry, it will be coming back into stock. Now, the reason why it sold out so quickly is because, like I said, it does come with a pen. The pen comes with the canvas and they specifically hand turn the pen. You get to choose the thickness and the shape of the pen. They hand turn it and send it out with your canvas. And so I was super duper excited that I was able to do this and that they were able to make this happen. So to Elizabeth and Edward over at Enablers Outpost, I cannot thank you and tell you how much I appreciate all the hard work and love that you put into this project. The fact that you're you gave my work the respect and love that I would give my work means more than you will ever know. So huge thank you to the folks over at Enablers Outpost. And if you missed the post, don't worry. There is going to be a link down in the description box of this video where you get to see the new canvas and the version two of the first canvas. So if you remember, I had a canvas come out with Enablers Outpost before called uh, Self Empowerment. Self Empowerment was a very big kit. It was a 70 by 90. It was square. It was very confetti riddled. And where I loved the kit, I wanted it to be a little bit more simple. So Elizabeth and Edward, yet again, the amazing people that they are, took the time and had it revised. So they revised the kit so it's a little bit more simple and it's a little smaller. So instead of being a 70 by 90, it is now a 60 by 60. It has been cropped. So she's cropped at her waist. So now you can see her shirt, but that's all you see pretty much besides like a little bit of her belly. Um, so it has been cropped and it's been simplified. So there's not as much confetti in the canvas. And I can't tell you how much I absolutely love it. You will be seeing an unboxing of that coming up this week on the channel, along with another unboxing that I was sent for review. So look out for those things. Now, you might have noticed that Miss Coffee had taken a long break, and I had been telling you guys that my mental health hasn't been the best, so I needed to take a break from YouTube. For the folks that were patient with me, I want to say thank you. It is a lot of work putting in these videos and making them and making sure that there's something that you guys enjoy. So to have done this for the last five years and not really had a real break, um... I really needed that break. And as you can tell, I probably sound a lot more happy. I probably sound a lot more upbeat than the last few videos you've watched from me. And that's because I was allowed to take that break and step away from YouTube for a little bit. And don't worry. So I will be taking one last week off of YouTube. Next week, I will be traveling from North Dakota to Pennsylvania because the reason is the oldest coffee bean little latte, Minna, is graduating high school. When I started this channel 
five years ago. It'll be six years in September. When I started this channel, it was because of her. Because we left her back with her family on her dad's side because she requested this day back. And there's a whole story time on that on the channel. But just a brief, like, TDLR. Uh, she wanted to help take care of her grandmother because she was afraid that she would die of a broken heart because her grandfather had passed away shortly before we moved. So we got to get the family together, Mr. Coffee, Minna's dad. And we all got together and talked about it and said that it would be okay if she stayed back and she would come visit us for the summers. Um, so now our little Minna is graduating high school. Um, so we will be traveling this weekend to go back to Pennsylvania for the week. This trip is this trip was not only meaning a lot to me because my daughter's graduating, but also because it's the first time in the last five years that I get to see my family. I haven't seen my parents or my siblings. Well, my siblings I haven't really seen in over like 10 years, um, which I'm going to get started on this because I just realized that this is going to take me a second. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and get started on this. But um, I haven't seen my siblings in over a decade, right? So... When we all grew up, we all kind of went our separate ways, except for my brother and sisters tended to migrate back down south where I decided to come up, stay up north in Pennsylvania. And um, so my first color I'm going to work with is going to be color 22. And I feel like I should just take this off, actually, because I don't want to have to keep taking it out. So I'm just going to pull the whole plastic off. And it's okay because this will get all finished today. Um, and then I have my color 22 right here. But I haven't seen my siblings in over a decade. And um, so when my siblings said that they didn't want to miss my first child graduating high school, um, I was over the moon excited because um, my sister, the, the, the last time my, my siblings have seen my daughter, the oldest child, um, Minna was two the last time they seen her. And now she's 17. Um if your family's like mine, we don't do the best at like keeping up with each other and stuff like that because everybody has busy lives. And so um, this will be the first time they, they got to see her in a quite some time. And it's funny because I was talking to my brother who's been like super duper excited about this trip. And he's like, the last time I seen Minna, she was a ladybug. <laughs> so the last time my brother seen my daughter, sorry about that. Um, the last time my brother seen my daughter, she, it was Halloween. It was Halloween, and he hasn't seen her since. And so, like, he's super duper excited because not only is that the last time he's seen Minna, he's never got to meet Maggie and Orion. He's talked to them on the phone, but he's never actually, like, been in their presence before. So, like, this will be the first time he gets to meet Maggie and Orion, even though Maggie and Orion are now, like, 11 and 13. <laughs> so he's super excited to meet the kids. Auntie Jasmine is going to be there as well. So I have a lot of siblings, but only three of them are blood siblings. So Auntie Jasmine and Uncle DJ are blood siblings, and they're the ones that are coming to the graduation, um, mostly because I only requested that they come. Um, so, because um, you got to keep the family drama down. It's going to be hard enough to see my parents, and um, so I wanted to try to keep as, like, I try to keep it not so big. Like, I don't need my whole family showing up to the graduation and just blowing everybody out of the water. So I was like, let's keep it to just a few people. Um, so we asked that, you know, everybody else just kind of wait until we have pictures or whatever. But I wanted this to be special for Minna because these are the family members that, uh, for the most part, that she remembers the most. Um, because my older siblings, like, they weren't really around whenever... Uh, I was growing up or whenever I had my kids and stuff. So there was really no point of asking them to come. So this is just something that's super special to me. And to all the folks that were able to buy from the D stash, I would like to say thank you because, because of you to all the people that, that bought from the D stash to all the people that donated to my PayPal, I would like to say thank you from the bottom of my heart. I sincerely thank you and appreciate your generosity because of you this trip is possible um and I say that because where I wasn't intending on paying for the entire trip by myself things had popped up in life with Mr. Coffee's back and Orion had a little incident this like a weekend ago or a couple of days ago and uh things in life have popped up 
that made it almost impossible. It seems like for some reason, whenever you try to go on a trip, things always tend to happen around that time that just give you the worst of luck. And so there was a few things that happened here at the coffee house that I don't, I won't go into it too much, um, that prevented us from being able to use the funds that we had originally had allotted for, for our trip. And so because of the de-stash or both de-stashes and because of the generosity of folks donating to the PayPal, we are able to t still take the trip. So all the money that was made in the de-stash, all the money that was uh, made from donations, um, all of that is what's helping us get there. And where you guys didn't have to do any of that, out of the generosity of your hearts, you did that. And I can't tell you how much I, I truly, truly appreciate that. So thank you so, so much. Um, there, of course will be pictures when we get back. <laughs> there will be tons of pictures, um, but I'm probably going to be radio silent on social media while I'm gone. If I'm not, I will try to post pictures here and there of like my family and stuff. Um, because this is, as much as I like to think that I'm not family friendly, because I do speak a lot of fluent cursive, um, this is family friendly for the most part, because you guys hear about my family and I talk about my family. Um, so I never really thought of myself being a family friendly channel because like I said, I speak fluent cursive. So, um, it's just a different type of family friendly. <laughs> it's just a different type of family friendly. So be on the lookout for that. And like I said, we'll be back at, we'll, we'll be back to chugging along here on YouTube when I get back. Um, I have a couple of ideas for videos that I would like to do. This week is jam packed with videos. Um, I do not have a sneak peek from Diamond Art Club this week, and um, I don't have a, a sneak peek from Diamond Art Club this week, and I do have a couple of other videos that I would like to put up. Um, I may or may not, well, I can't save the one until I get back, because I kind of told them I'd put it up this week. So I'm going to have, I think we should have two more videos this week, and then I'm gone for vacation. Um, when I get back from vacation, like I said, we should be back at full throttle with videos. So those are your announcements. We are going to be traveling to go see Minna for her graduation. Thank you to everyone who donated and bought from the D stash. It also helped me declutter my craft room upstairs. Like I needed to get rid of so many canvases and to the person also, I don't want to call their name out in case they don't want to be known or be perceived. Um, to the person that donated the canvases to help with the D-Stash, thank you so, so much. I, I really, really appreciate you being able to do that for me. Um, I did send off the canvas to the one recipient that you requested get one particular canvas. So if you're watching, they did get their canvas and they say thank you. Uh, let's see, making sure I got all the 20s. I'm just going to be kind of rotisserie style rotating this to make sure I get like all the pieces and stuff. Sorry about that. I had to help little Maggie with something. So, yeah. So, we're we're super excited to be taking the trip. Um, so, before somebody asks, what's going to happen with the pets when we leave? So, the pets will be staying here at the house. We have a house sitter coming to take care of the pets for when we're gone. Um, and we're going to make sure that uh, I've already called to have, like, the police department do, like, I, I don't know if you know you can do this. But if you call the non-emergency police number to let them know that you're going on vacation and ask them to do an extra round around your house while you're gone, they will do extra rounds around your house. Like they'll drive around and patrol around your house while you're gone just to keep it a little bit safer. Now, I don't live in an unsafe neighborhood, but but I do live in a place that uh, I do have a lot of neighbors and there is a lot of commotion with people walking around and stuff. And yeah, so... I just requested that they do around around the house like a couple of times a day and they don't have a problem doing that mostly because of the police department's literally right down the street so it's on their way back to the station so they can uh, just drive by to make sure that everything looks okay and that the dog walker is okay and nobody's messing with them so yeah um, so the pets will be staying here I have to write out like I have a whole like to-do list of things that I need to get done and I'm trying to slowly but surely do them without stressing myself out because why is going on vacation so goddamn on stressful? Oh Lord, y'all, I swear <laughs> it's so stressful getting everything ready. 
at first everyone was excited they wanted to go and everybody's like you know i can't wait till we get there we're gonna do this we're gonna do that now as time is getting closer maggie's like mom do we have to go on this vacation and i'm like y yes and she's like but i want to play with my friends and i'm like maggie we're going to be gone for like a week i think you can handle a week like literally we leave out saturday we come back next saturday like <laughs> and she's like but mom I got some new friends and like, they're actually nice and we play and I want to stay with my friends. And I'm like, Maggie, you are not staying with your friends. Like that's Lord. And then Orion's like, yeah, wait, why can't we stay with our friends? What do you mean? Why can't you stay with your friends? Because you're going to go see your sister who you haven't seen in two years. And so they were excited at first and now they're just kind of like, but our friends, <laughs> the kids have, are officially out for summer. So they officially got out of, for summer, like, uh, Thursday last week so I think like the 23rd I want to say they officially got out for summer and they have been doing nothing but playing with their friends like outside and that brings us to our first story so I'm sitting here streaming and I've been streaming every day on Twitch this week because of us leaving and being gone for a week I uh wanted to make sure I get all the stream time that I can in now so that when I leave for the week it will be noticed. I'm sure it will be noticed. But um, just so that I have that time in before I leave because I'm going to miss, like, doing my stream stuff. It's super relaxing for me and a lot of fun. And so, like, if you don't know what I'm talking about, we stream over on Twitch. We do art. We do crafting. We play games. And so I'm super excited to uh, – I'm not super ex – I'm not super excited to be leaving for that long extended period of time. One, because it's been a long time since I've left, like stopped doing all social media. Um, and two, I've never been on vacation before. Um, even as a kid, we tried going on vac vacation. It didn't go well. And mostly because we, we drove for six hours to go to Six Flags and then found out it was closed. Now, if you're wondering why we didn't just call first or check online to see if it was open, it's because... Back in my day, <laughs> the only thing you could do was open MapQuest and download instructions, okay? Like, there wasn't, like, this place is open at this time or this place is open at that time. So, um, it's not like it is now. So, we couldn't check to see the availability of the park we were trying to go to. And then, of course, we drive all that way in our 97 caravan to find out that it's closed. And I've never been on vacation again since as a kid. Like, they never tried to take us on vacation again after that. We just, I guess we just never had the money for it. And um, as an adult, I truly have never had the money to go on vacation because we just, like, I've never even been on a honeymoon. Like, Mr. Coffee and I got married at a courthouse. It wasn't even a courthouse. We got married at the mayor's office and then went home and then the next day was just like any other day. Like, Never been on a honeymoon, never been on vacation. So I wasn't sure what to expect. And even now, I'm like, if this is how stressful it is planning for a vacation, this will be my last vacation. I am stressed. <laughs> Why is it all of a sudden that none of the kids' clothes fit? And I'm like, wait, 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 what? So if you missed it, I put up a picture on social media of the kids, right? And their first day of school versus their last day of school. And at some point, my children were swapped out with grown little people. Maggie has gotten a lot taller. But she pretty much, for the most part, looks the same. Orion, on the other hand, looks like a whole grown man. And I don't know why. And everybody's like, what are you feeding him? I don't know. Concrete, I guess. Um, I don't know what happened to him. He he took weightlifting class. And now, all of a sudden, he's this beefy kid. Like, I, I don't know. Um... But they've been doing a lot of, like, outdoor stuff. And it's really nice for them to be able to go outdoors and not spend all day on his computer. Like, Orion's getting out of that stage of always wanting to play video games and actually wanting to go outside and play. But now he's kind of stuck in the house to play video games. Because, again, story time. So I'm sitting there, and I'm streaming over on Twitch. And the next thing I know, my back door opens. Now, I'm sitting here, and I'm not thinking anything of it because the kid's running in and out all day. Um... So I just figured it was one of them. And I was right. It was Orion. He comes in and he's holding his shoe. And I'm like, um, hello? What? Why are you holding your shoe? And he's like, I hurt my foot. He, he, he stands, he, he, he gets into the house. Cause there's like a stair you have to get up to get into the house. He gets into the house and there's just blood coming from the back of his foot. And I'm like, um, hello? 
I, I, as calmly as I could, I was like, all right, guys, we got to end stream for the day. Meanwhile, I am freaking out because like there is a pile of it on the floor and I don't want to say it too much because I don't want to freak people out too much, but there's like a pile of it on the floor and I'm like, um, please don't drip that all over the floor. Like go get a napkin or something. So he walks over and there's just a trail and I'm like, oh my God. So I calmly get everybody raided out to another streamer. I jump up and I go over and Mr. Coffee comes over and he's like, what is going on? What what happened? I'm like, I don't know what happened to you. And he's like, I was playing, he was playing at the neighbor's house and I guess they have a utility hole in their yard and he was, they were playing like tackle football or something and somebody like went to go grab him or something and he went to go dodge the person trying to grab him and he fell into the utility hole. The problem with this is inside of the utility hole was like a little sharp metal pipe. I don't know what kind of utility hole it was. All I know is whatever it was scraped up the back of his heel. So like the heel of your foot is here and then you have that piece like your where your Achilles tendon is. That whole back part of his foot was scraped up. And I'm like, um, okay. So I go over to that neighbor's house and I'm like, hey, just a heads up. Uh, my son was playing over here and they're like, yeah, they were just telling us, is he okay? And I'm like, he's okay, but I just want to let you know because, you know, most of the, the neighbor kids come to their house to go play because I guess they have the biggest yard over here. And so I was like, yeah, but you are you might want to take care of that, you know, hole in the yard. And they're like, you know, if he has to get, you know, anything done, please let us know. Um, we're so, so sorry. We've been asking them to come patch this hole up for like months now. And so I come back to the house and Orion's limping and he goes... Mom, can I go back outside and play? Uh, sir, no. Wait, what? No, go upstairs. <laughs> like, I'm like, why are you trying to go back outside, sir? And so I'm sitting there and I'm trying to figure out, like, you know, I'm cleaning up his mess that he's left for me all over the floor. And Mr. Coffee's like, what? What happened? So I explained to Mr. Coffee what happened. And he's like, okay. And I'm like, look, I just work here, bro. Like, I'm just trying to, I was trying to stream and I come and next thing I know, there's like stuff everywhere and... Yeah, and Mr. Coffee's like, okay, well, uh, is that is that the only crisis we're going to have tonight? And I'm like, maybe. He says that because the other day, <laughs> the other day, um, I went to go get a package from the UPS guy. Now, my dogs love our UPS guy. Like, my dogs aren't one of the dogs that likes to bark at the mailman. They love the, the mailman because the mailman bring them bones. They get treats from the mailman, so uh, they... They love the mailman. And so I'm sitting there and I'm like, okay, hold on. Let me get that on there. So I'm like, okay, they're, they're getting their, you know, the mail, the, I had a package coming from UPS. And so I was like, let me go grab this package. Cause he rang the bell. Cause it's one of the packages. I was like, you know, I need this as soon as it comes in. So if you wouldn't mind ringing the bell when this one comes in. Um, and so he wrote a note on his little key thing that he keeps on his, his, uh, that little phone thing that they have. And so he rang the bell. And I go to answer the door. And so you know how when your door opens and you're trying to keep like little kids in or your pets and you grab it with your foot? Well, when I did that, my toe hit the edge of the door and went snap. And so I'm going to spare you the details, but just know Miss Coffee's rocking a broken toe. And so like not only did I hit the like my toe hit the door and, you know, break. But then I slid down the door real dramatic, like I was in a like one of those 1970s movie with the damsel in distress, and I was just like, oh, my stars, and I just slowly glided down the door. Meanwhile, Killian is looking at me like I'm being so super dramatic. The sad part is, it was him I was trying to keep in the house because he will go jump on the UPS guy, and so I was trying to keep him in the house. He's looking at me like he has an attitude, like everything I'm doing in this moment is just so freaking dramatic, and I need to go sit down. And so I'm like, sir, you did this. Like, this is your fault. He walks up to me, sniffs me, walks over to the UPS man to give his bone, farts, and then leaves. And I'm he, the UPS man comes over to help me up. And he's like, are you okay? And I'm like, yeah, I'm fine. The dog, this is the joys of having big dogs. Meanwhile, Daisy's sitting there looking like a derp. And she's just like, I didn't do nothing. Like, I just, I was just standing here. Like, she's just standing there waiting for her bone. So he gives Daisy her bone. I get my package. I come in the house and I'm like, God dang, this hurts. And I come to sit back in my craft room with the package, which is the package I have to unbox um, this week. And I look down and my toe is pointing in a different direction than the rest of my foot. And I was like, uh, 
hun. He's like, what? He comes in. This is like literally two days before Ryan's foot stuff. And I'm like, I need a little assistance. And he's like, what? What's wrong? Oh my God. I'm like, help. And he's like, what do I do about this? I'm like, put it back in place. And he's like, it's not Legos. Why do you think everything in life is Legos? I'm like, I don't think it's Legos, but it's got to be put back in place. Now, I've I've broken my toes and my ankle numerous times. Like, I know what they're going to do for me at a, a doctor. Like, they'll take an x-ray, sure, to make sure that it's broken, which I'm pretty sure if your toe is pointing in the opposite direction of the rest of your foot, it's safe to say it's broken. I'm going to I'm gonna say it's safe to say it's broken. So, um, I was like, yeah, yeah. Uh, just put it back in place and we'll tape it. So, we got it back in place, taped it up, and I've been rocking a broken toe for, like, the last week or so. <laughs> And so now Mr. Coffee keeps making jokes about me and Orion being in a three-legged race and how we purposely hurt ourselves so we didn't have to go on this vacation. And I'm like, no, because I want to go on vacation. I want to see Minna. And minna has been making an appearance more over on Twitch. Uh, she seems to like the platform more than YouTube, which is what I told her she would. And she, I guess she didn't believe me, but uh, she's been making more of an appearance over there while she does some schoolwork and stuff, some last minute schoolwork that she has to get done to graduate. And she's like, if I don't get this schoolwork done, mom, y'all might be just coming to visit. I'm like, ma'am, you better get that goddamn on schoolwork done. What's wrong with you? So she's waiting to hear back from her counselor today to see if she'll get an extension on two of her assignments that she has left to do before, like that she needs like the one credit for, for her, this one class. And so we're waiting to hear back on if she uh was able to get the extension to get this project these two assignments essentially done that she needed to do and so we're really hoping that she does because you know I don't I whereas I would love to go visit I would also love to go see her graduate while I visit so so there's that um but right now it's just literally planning it to get everything ready for this trip and everything's been centering around this trip and I went to start like looking at trying to pack up some clothes for the kids and making a list of like, okay, make sure you have your toothbrush, toothpaste, five pairs of drawers, five pairs of socks, five pairs of shorts, five pairs of pants, five shirts, um, hair care products, body wash. I will be bringing the body wash because we're only going to bring one because why bring five or four? Um, just kind of running down a list of things that I need to make sure that we don't forget. And as I'm like packaging things up, Mr. Coffee's looking at me and he goes, what's this bag? And I'm like, crafts. And he's like, wait, what? I'm like, crafts. <laughs> he's like, are you seriously? I'm like, crafts. I'm like, just because I do them online doesn't mean that I'm not going to be taking, like, I still do them for enjoyment, sir. I'm not going to be not taking my crafts with me. You expect me to just sit there and do nothing this entire time? And he's like, and I'm like, I'm not going to be just sitting there, no crafts for a week. Like, I still craft for enjoyment, not just for work. And he's like, I forget about that. I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I just recently got, like, my mojo for diamond painting has started coming back. And I've been taking it real, real slow. Real slow. Um, Just because I don't want to, like, get full force into it and really, like, burn myself out again so really slow been coming back into diamond painting again really slow been coming back into crocheting again this is another reason why i needed the break because before i started doing social media whenever i would get bored or whatever with a craft i would take a break for a while and then just go back to it later like a normal person but when you're in the the limelight of social media you can't just take breaks because people don't care about mental health and stuff like that they just want to see you do the thing that you're known for doing. And where I love that, I love that people like seeing me diamond paint and hearing weird stories about stuff that happens in my house. Sometimes your girl just needs a break. <laughs> Sometimes I just need a break. And especially now with the kids getting older, trying to be a mom and do social media at the same time, where it was, it's harder when they're little because they can't fend for themselves. Now that they're older, they can fend for themselves. But Stuff like this next story happens. So I'm sitting here and I'm streaming on Twitch. You'll notice a lot of these stories happen when I'm streaming on Twitch. So I'm streaming on Twitch and I'm talking to my folks over there and we're having a good time. We're playing a game or something. And Maggie comes up and she goes, Mommy, can I make oatmeal? And I'm like, sure. We often let the kids like make or 
breakfast for lunch or dinner if they choose to, if they don't like something that we made or something. And she wanted to make some oatmeal. Now, I taught her how to make the oatmeal where you don't necessarily, like, I don't read the packaging. I just make it based on, like, covering the oats with water or with milk and then putting a little slab of butter in there and then just putting it in the microwave for two and a half, three minutes and doing it that way. Like, I don't follow, like, instant oatmeal instructions. So, you know, whatever. So I'm sitting there <laughs> and... I tell her, you know, yeah, you can make oatmeal. So she goes to start making oatmeal. I don't think anything of it. She walks away. Now, Maggie has like the shortest attention span I've ever seen. She puts it in there and then just walks away. Now, I told her when she makes it, she has to watch because sometimes it will overflow, right? So she <laughs> she walks away and I didn't think anything of it. I'm just playing this game, whatever we were playing. And I look over at the microwave and I can see the microwave from where I sit in my office and because it's an open layout from my office to the kitchen. And so I look over and all I see is bubbled up oatmeal in the bowl in the microwave and it's overflowing everywhere. I just cleaned that microwave. I literally just, literally just cleaned that microwave that morning. And I just see oatmeal bubbling over in her bowl. So I paw, I like, I, I mute my mic and I'm like, Maggie, your oatmeal's overflowing. She opens the microwave and like slime, it just pours out of the microwave because essentially every she had put way too much milk in the bowl and it had frothed over. <laughs> she also wasn't paying attention and instead of setting the timer for f three minutes, she set it for five. And I was wondering why it was taking so long to make this goddamn oatmeal is because she's hit the wrong button. And I'm like, oh Lord. So as I'm sitting there, and I can't stop stream to go clean the microwave because she spilled oatmeal. And Mr. Coffee wasn't here. I think he was at work. Um, I'm sitting there freaking out because I'm like, um, hello, <laughs> ma'am. <laughs> what are you doing? And she's like, well, at least I didn't catch it on fire this time. And I was like, oh, sweet Lord, that's not okay. So what that's about is that she decided to put a napkin in the microwave when she was making like SpaghettiOs the one day. And she put a mac a napkin on top of, top of a bowl, and I don't know what made it made it spark, um, but it sparked the napkin, and and I was like, oh god, that wasn't during a stream though. That was just like regular, like we were just out here doing stuff, and she set the thing on fire. So this is why when I say things about Maggie, I usually say don't set something on fire. It's because Maggie has set stuff on fire before. <laughs> So yeah, Orion, he's still scared of the stove. I decided that this year I'm going to be t get, making more of an effort to teach the kids about cooking. What is stuck on this can? Oh, there's like something on the bottom of this that keeps sticking it to the table. Where am I? I'm over here. But I'm, I'm going to be making a more concentrated effort to get Orion out of his room or out or inside from outside to start cooking. Now, Orion can cook basic things, but I want him to start cooking. Like, and I, and I don't want him to cook just so he can make dinner for the family or anything. I will have him making dinner once a night so that he has a responsibility and knows, like, you know, timing and everything else and making sure that he cooks, like, starts dinner at a reasonable time. Just kind of giving him some, like, home economics from home. Maggie, she's still too little for that. And, uh... She'll probably take a little bit longer to teach. So I'm going to try to do it with Orion. She can look, she can be like on looking. So she kind of knows what to expect when she grows up. But we're going to do it with Orion first where we have him like, you know, learn to cook some of the basic stuff, which he pretty much knows how to make like mac and cheese from the box, like craft mac and cheese because I refuse to make it because I don't find it appetizing at all. I find it disgusting, but apparently they love it. And I'm like, good, you love it. Learn how to cook it. So he learned how to cook it. <laughs> He learned how to cook it so that I didn't have to cook it, which I absolutely love. I love that for me. The weird thing is, is I'm sitting here and I'm like, how long has it been since I've been gone? Because like, I'm trying to remember what's the last stories I told you guys. Did I tell you guys about the lightning striking the house? I don't think I did. I th we were, I know I was on Twitch. Well, I wasn't on Twitch when it happened. Um, but I know I told the folks over on Twitch, um, we, we've been, I don't know, a lot of folks lately have been getting a lot of thunderstorms. We're, we're not excluded from that, right? So we've been experiencing a lot of thunderstorms lately here in North Dakota, which is, again, odd because we don't typically get thunderstorms here. And so 
we've been experiencing a lot of thunderstorms. Well, one of the first really bad thunderstorms we experienced brought on a lot of thunder and lightning. And um, our house got hit by lightning. Now, don't worry. Everybody's fine. The only damage was to the microwave and the stove because essentially it literally hit in between my house and my neighbor's house. And so their stove and, and microwave blew up and so did ours. Luckily, nobody was like hurt or anything. And it was super scary because like the sounds like it made it scared the crap out of us. And of course, Maggie was spooked ever like she will. I'm pretty sure Maggie will always have a fear of thunder and lightning now. And she will not be the same. She was upstairs in bed when it happened. And her bedroom is kind of like upstairs wise is on the other side of the house. Um, so like it scared the crap out of her to the point where she woke up out of her sleep because she heard it. It was such a loud pop. It was such a loud pop. And then it cut off our electricity for quite some time. Um, but everybody is fine. Uh, they were able to come in and replace our stove and microwave. One of the good things about not owning the place yet or not owning a home yet is the fact that I don't have to pay for stuff like that when it happens. So I didn't have to worry about coming out of pocket for a new stove and microwave. Um, plus we have homeowners ins or renters insurance. So like the in insurance helped pay for like the damage to the stove and stuff, even though it wasn't our fault, but we do still live here. So yeah, look how pretty that's turning out. We only did one color. <laughs> We've only done one color. Sorry, forgot my coffee. <laughs> so yeah, so things have just been a little crazy here at the coffee house, but we're tr we're trying to t we're we're trying to take care of things the best we can. Um, trying to get that back on there. And we're gonna pour these back in the bag. We're going to attempt to pour these back in the bag. <laughs> We're going to make a mess of these all over the floor. Okay, give me two seconds. All right. So we got that cleaned up. So I am excited for the vacation. Um, we even went and prepped and got Mr. Coffee's back uh, injections done. So for those... Again, if you've been here for a while, you remember Mr. Coffee falling off the dumpster a few years ago. For those who are new, welcome in. Hi. Um, Mr. Coffee had suffered a back injury a few years ago where he was trying to jump off of one of those, like, industrial dump dumpsters, like the ones you would find at, like, a restaurant out back. He was trying to jump off of one of those uh, doing stuff at work, and he when he went to go jump, he lost his footing or something and fell. When he fell, he fractured his spine and tore all the ligaments in his foot. And so when it first happened, of course, it was horrible because, you know, we had just, we were literally going back to Pennsylvania then as well. And uh, it, this happened like literally the, the day before we were due to fly out. So I wasn't exactly excited and it, it just caused a whole slew of problems on our trip. So now... He has to get injections into his back because his back start, has been starting to bother him really bad. And he has arthritis in his spine. And so you might have seen on social media, if you follow me on my Miss Coffee business page or on Instagram, that we took a trip to get his injections. Now, his injections had to be done in Montana um, because that's where the specialty clinic is. A lot of the times, anything specialty-wise, it's done in Montana because they don't have stuff that like that here and it's closer than going to, like, Bismarck or one of the other major cities um, in North Dakota. So we just shoot over to uh, – we just shoot over to Montana like it's nothing. Like, we don't we don't care about changing states or anything. Um, <laughs> to pe some people, I remember changing states being a big thing. Like, oh, my God, you left the state? And now it happens so often that I'm like, oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> it's funny how you get used to these things. Um but yeah, so we, I took and he's like, I have to this appointment. You're going to have to take me. And I'm like, okay. He's like, it's only an hour or so. And I'm like, you want me to drive? Like, he's like, we have instructions. And I'm like, you want me to drive? Okay. So the last time I had instructions, I was going to the post office when we first moved here and I ended up in Montana. So, um, the fact that he trusted me to drive him from here to Montana, I was like, you really do like me, huh? You really do like me, huh? Because um, 
sir, no. <laughs> sir, the way we about to get lost. And luckily we didn't get lost. Because I didn't realize it until the day that we go to leave. We dropped the, We had the kids, you know, go to school. Because we figured we'd be back by the time they got out of school. And we were. Um, so we dro they, they, wrote, they got on the bus. And when they got on the bus, we left right at, like shortly after they got on the bus to get over to Montana. And he pops some pills before we leave. And I'm like looking at him. I'm like, you taking your meds for the day? He goes, no, these are the pills I have to take before I leave so that, you know, the pain isn't bad. And I'm like, oh, uh, wait, what what pain pills? I didn't remember him saying anything about pain pills. So I was like, what pain pills? I was getting a little concerned. Like, sir, are you, 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 you out here? Like, you out here like that? Like, hello? We ain't doing that now. And he's like, uh, ma'am, no. And I was like, well, what's the, what, what you got going on there? And he's like, it's Valium. And I'm like, where the hell did you get that? He's like, the doctor gave it to me for the procedure. You have to take it beforehand so you're relaxed. And I'm like, I guess you would want to relax before having a, a needle stuck into your spine. So I was like, oh, okay. And I was like, wait a minute, Valium, isn't that that stuff that makes you high? He goes, kind of. And I'm like, oh, Lord, y'all. He was no help, one. By the time we got halfway there, he was already like, he was out of it. And I was just like, oh, you're about to be loads of fun in this car. He's singing to the radio. He's trying to dance in the car. And he's making all kinds of like beep, boop, boop, bop noises, trying to tell me he's a robot. And we get to the place and he's he he's not hanging on me, but like I'm like trying to make sure that like, because he's a little wobbly on his feet. And the nurse was like, you know, emergency is that way. I'm like, no, it's not for emergency. I'm like, he has an appointment. He's like, I am a big boy. I have an appointment. And I'm like, Mr. Coffee, calm down. <laughs> like, sit. What, what, what is wrong with you? Just calm down. And so he goes over. The lady goes over and she finds his appointment. And she goes, oh, okay. He's, oh, did he take his Valium? I'm like, I guess that's what's at, making him act like this because this ain't usually him. <laughs> and he's like, I'm an angel. What do you mean? And I'm like, oh, sweet Lord. So, um, yeah, he... He was something else. Um, <laughs> the nurse was just like, okay, well, we're going to put him in this chair um, because he has to take, you know, this, He like he had to take some other medication that's going to like make him relax or something. And then I was just like, well, he already took the value you guys gave him. And she's like, oh, and I was like, what what's O for? And she's like, then he didn't need this. And I was like, I before I could turn around and say, don't take it, he had already taken it. And I was like, so is he just going to take a nap or like, should we probably call somebody? And she's like, oh no, it's fine. It's fine. But he probably is going to sleep for a little bit. And I was like, oh, okay. So like the next thing I know, like he's not, not, he like, he's like slumped over in the, the chair that they gave us for him to sit in. And we're waiting maybe five minutes before they came and wheeled him back to the back to get his stuff done, which was great because they didn't really need him awake for the injections. So they were able to do the injections without any issues. He comes out and he's walking at this point. Like they woke him up and, you know, had him like move around. Cause I guess they needed his input on like whatever. And he was up and kind of walking about. He was still a little wobbly on his feet. And I, at this point we had been there for like two or three hours. And he was like, you know, at least you got us here. Okay. He goes, I can probably drive back. And I'm like, I don't think so. <laughs> He goes, but it's my car. I'm like, no, technically that's my car. Your car is at home. We brought the Jeep. And he's like, we brought the Jeep? Lord have mercy. I'm having a, I feel like I was talking to somebody who completely had amnesia. And I'm like, I'm supposed to be the one that has the bad memory and the bad brain stuff. Not you. What are you doing? Like, no, don't do this to me. So we're riding back home and I see my favorite restaurant and I'm like, look, listen, I will not leave this state until I get that that Burger King. We don't have Burger King where I live. And one of the things I miss about living in PA where we did was that we had Burger King. And Burger King was one of my favorite places. They have better fries than McDonald's. I said what I said. I don't like McDonald's, so I prefer Burger King. Which do you prefer if these are available in your country? Are you a Burger King person or a McDonald's person? There's a question for you. <laughs> the age old fight. The age old fight. There's a question. Are you are you team McDonald's? Or are you team Burger King? I am team Burger King all day. All day. Love me some Burger King. 
but we don't have it here. We have nasty McDonald's, but it doesn't come with a roll of toilet paper like it should, apparently. Um, so I don't typically eat McDonald's just because I don't, the kids will eat it. Like if they ask for it, I'll, I'll get them McDonald's, but me, myself, I'm not the biggest fan of McDonald's. So I'm like, uh, <laughs> but we got him home and everything. And the problem is, uh, that night he ran into an issue where his legs locked up. And so I did have to take him back out to like, they told us that if there was any adverse side effects to take him out to the hospital here and they'll, you know, look into what's going on. And so we did have to take him back out to get seen and they were able to give him some medication to get, you know, things working again, like his legs and stuff and the numbness he was feeling to go away. So he did have a little bit of a hiccup afterwards, like a little adverse reaction. But other than that, he's been doing, it's been a slow process. It wasn't this slow the last time he had it done. Like it was almost like within like the next day, like he was up and about and felt better. This one seemed to have been a, a slower process. So it took about a week before this medication really kicked in and he was able to actually stand up straight again. And I was just like, oh, wow. Well, I'm glad because they actually got him in early because technically he wasn't supposed to go get his injections until this Friday. So I'm glad that they were able to get him in a couple of weeks early because they had a cancellation. So, uh, but he's doing good now. His back is feeling better. And the reason why we had to get this done is because we're driving to Pennsylvania and not flying like I originally wanted to. To fly to Pennsylvania was going to cost us about $9,000. Look, listen, we comfortable. We ain't rich. $9,000 to fly. And then on top of that, the hotel room, rental car, pet sitter, all the things. Yeah, no, we didn't have the money for that. And there was no way in hell I could do enough strange for change to get it. So I was like, okay, but we, I was going to make it work. But then he was like, why don't we just drive? It's going to be like three to four hundred dollars. And I was like, and sold. But he had to talk me into it a little bit more than that, just because I didn't want to sit. I didn't want to sit in the car that long. It's a day and a half trip. And I didn't want to sit in the car that long. And it doesn't sound long, but it when you have to do it, it's long. OK, so I was like, I don't want to do this. <laughs> I'm like, do you have to graduate now? Can you wait until next year? And I was talking to my dad about it. He goes, my my parents had four graduations to go to this year, uh, two of them down south and two of them kind of up north here. And so, like, I was like, w just wait. I'm like, just in a few years, you'll be coming to North Dakota for graduation. He goes, oh, crap. And I'm like, oh, yeah, you'll have to come up here because my parents have been avoiding coming up here because of how cold it gets. And I'm like, uh-uh, homie, <laughs> you can't avoid it for long. <laughs> You gonna have to come up here and see us because your grandson's gonna graduate and then a year and a half later, boom, your granddaughter gonna graduate. So you'll have to come back up here. And my dad's like, why are you like this? Because I love you, wah, 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 wah. <laughs> so he's like, you just forced me to come, you're gonna force me to come up there. I'm like, yeah, because you need to come up. I want my parents to experience North Dakota. I wanna take my parents to the Badlands to go see the buffaloes and... We don't have to go hiking because my dad's working on robot knees, so he don't need to be going hiking. And my mom, her, I'm pretty sure her arm about to fall off any day now. She tore her rotator tater cuff a few months ago. She had to have surgery. And she's fine now, but I don't like her doing things like lifting her arm because I, it freaks me out. <laughs> so uh, I want them to come just at least do a drive through of the Badlands with us because I think they would really like it. But my parents are just kind of like... Yeah, nah, homie. <laughs> we gonna leave that for you. So, yeah. Um, but we're excited. We're we, Like I said, we leave on Saturday. So June 1st through the 10th, I will be unavailable, okay? So if you message me and I don't reply, uh, it's not because I'm ignoring you. It's because I'm literally on vacation, so I'm not gonna be taking any messages. If, if it's super duper important, if you're a part of my Discord, if you tag my moderators, they will be able to, they'll be able and happy to answer any and all questions that you have. There will be nothing that happens that's so extravagant that somebody will need to take me away from spending time with my family. And so I'm gonna take this one last break before we get back into the swing of things here on YouTube really good. And I'm going to enjoy time with my family and, just, I will make sure to get you guys pictures and everything else, um, but I wanted to at least do this whip and chat today to not only give you the announcements about the new diamond painting that came out and that everybody's doing well and the family is just super excited to go see Minna, even though the kids want to stay home to play with their friends. I promise you they'll be excited when we get there, but I wanted to also say thank you to you guys for all your help and love and 
well wishes for our trip. It means a lot to us here at the coffee house that people even care about what we got going on. So like, thank you so, so much for everything that you guys have done for me and my family. It is truly, truly appreciated. Now, with that said, like I said, we have a few more videos this week. If you are a Patreon on the VIP tier, we do still have live this week. Um, a reminder, we'll be going out in the Discord closer to time. We still will have live this week. And um, yeah, so hopefully I will see you guys there. We will probably not have a whip and chat for like the next week or two. But then I want to get back into the swing of at least doing a little mini check-in at least once or twice a month. Um, where I don't want to do the long, long whipping chats right now. Like right now in my head, the doing the long, long whipping chats, it just seems like a lot. Um, I at least want to do like a little mini, like 30 minute check-in. Like this is how the family's doing. This is how, you know, such and such is doing and whatnot. So yeah. Um, one last thing before we go. A little, little last story time for you. So I'm sitting here yesterday and I'm streaming and Maggie comes up and she's like, now take it. She had to pass by her father to come back to ask me, can she go outside? I'm streaming. I'm I'm streaming. I have mic I have microphone in my front of my face. I have my headphones on. She comes over and taps my shoulder and she's like, "Mom." And I'm like, y "Yes, Maggie." And she's like, "Can I go outside?" I'm like, "Why didn't you ask your dad?" And she goes, "I don't know." "Can I go outside?" And I'm like, "Okay, okay." She goes, "By the way, I cleaned my room." And I'm like, Wait, what? Now, nobody had told her to clean her room, okay? Nobody had told her to clean her room. She was just like, I cleaned my room. Um, oh, wait, okay. And she's like, I'm gonna go outside now. Okay, um, wait, why, okay. I'm like, did daddy tell you to clean your room? And she's like, no, I just got bored. You got bored? She goes, I even cleaned the bathroom, mom. That's how bored I was. And I was like, um... Okay. <laughs> like, I didn't know what to say to her because Maggie doesn't just clean her room unless somebody tells her to. So I'm like, what do you mean you just cleaned your room? Like, that's not a thing that you do. Like, it's not like you just always clean your room and I shouldn't be surprised here. And she's like, it's okay, mom. I know, I'm shocked too. I didn't want to do it, but I was just so bored. And I was like, well, I'm happy you were bored and you got your room clean. I did go up to check it after I streamed. And she had legitimately cleaned her room. And I was like, what the flip? I'm like, wait, wait, what kind of voodoo did we do to get you to clean this room? I need to tell the subscribers. <laughs> I have no clue what made her do it. But she just she just decided to clean her room. And she actually, it wasn't like half-ass cleaned. It was actually cleaned. And I'm like, okay, so I don't know if she's getting to that point. I think what it is, is now that she's making friends that are her age, she went to a sleepover this past weekend and her friend was like, why is your room so gross? And I could tell that there was a little bit of an embarrassment there because she took her friend upstairs. Because when you when your kids have sleepovers and the kid lives close to you, of course, they both have to come into the house and go into your daughter's room to pick out toys to take with them to the sleepover. And so the little girl comes over and she goes, why is your room so gross? And I think that little bit of embarrassment is just what she needed to realize that the fact that we keep telling her to clean her room and everything else isn't because we're trying to be mean. It's because her room is gross. So she cleaned it. And it right now, right as I was starting to record, uh, I went and checked on her and the room was still clean. It was still clean. And I was like, I, look, listen, if that's what it takes, that's what it takes, I guess. I don't want her to be embarrassed, but also her room is clean. <laughs> So maybe I kind of wanted her to be embarrassed a little bit. I don't I don't know. I feel like a bad parent saying that, but whatever gets her to clean the room, okay? Like <laughs> she vacuumed and everything. <laughs> but all right, you guys. I'm gonna call it there. We're gonna finish up this sunflower off camera. And I'll have a time lapse up for you guys on Saturday for this. I'll have it preloaded so that uh I'm not worried about anything while I'm trying to pack up and get ready to get out of this house. So, you guys, thank you so, so much for your time. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for your love and support. Um, I hope you guys are doing well. And like I said, we'll be back to check in with you guys here soon. If you're not already in my Discord 
on my Facebook group or in my on my business page. That is the, my business page and Instagram are where I'm going to be updating you guys with photos of the family and what we're doing and how we're doing and everything else. You'll got, you'll get pictures of the kids and stuff like that. So look for them there. But you guys, again, I sincerely thank you from the bottom of my heart for everything that you've done for me and my family. And I hope you guys have a wonderful start to your summer. I will be back on the, I want to say it's like the 13th of June. We'll be back here on YouTube doing videos and such. So I hope to see you guys then. But until next time, stay safe. And again, remember to take your meds, take your vitamins, drink your water, touch some grass and stay safe. And always be kind to others because you never know what somebody else is going through. Be courteous because it's the right thing to do. And always stay cool. And whether I see you in YouTube land or I see you on Twitch, either way, I'll see you when I see you. Bye.